These dogs are the sweetest dogs I've ever met. So I just kind of felt like I needed to take them home. Some furry friends will soon be calling our state home. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Megan Conway. Rod has the night off. Well, members of the Nebraska National Guard recently spent time in the Virgin Islands for hurricane relief, and one soldier made quite the connection while he was there. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris has more in tonight's top story. Joe? That's right, Megan. Michael Henn is driving all the way to the East Coast to reunite with his new friends. So these rescue dogs have to be pretty special. Hurricanes Irma and Maria hit the Virgin Islands with a one-two punch in October. So Governor Ricketts sent more than 50 members of the Nebraska National Guard to help with relief efforts. One of them was Specialist Michael Henn, who was deployed to St. Croix. Henn says he was working with the night crew when two stray dogs, Pumpkin and Benji, started hanging out with the soldiers. About the month that we were there, they just... They were there every night. We fed them. We gave them a couple baths, gave them uh, the flea tick removal. Hen says their previous owners had died before the hurricane. The friendly dogs began sleeping in the compound with them, and when it was time for the Nebraska soldiers to go back home, he couldn't let go of them. I'd show up for shift, and I'd whistle and snap my fingers, and both the dogs come running to me. So I was like, well, I kind of have to take these dogs now. They love me. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals took them in and transported them to the U.S. When Hen got back to Nebraska, the Charleston Animal Society in South Carolina reached out and told them they had Pumpkin and Benji. That's where Hen is driving to Friday morning. Yeah, I keep telling my coworkers all week long, and they're like, okay, we hear you. you. You're getting two dogs this week, and we've heard enough. That excitement will hopefully help push him through those 1,300 miles. Now, Hen says he and the dogs are hoping to be back to Nebraska on Monday. And we're planning to be there for the welcome home. Right. What a great story. I can't wait to see the rest of it. Thank you, Joe.